Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check out the new video doorbell from Maximus, the Answer Dual Cam Video Doorbell. Now, if you're not familiar with this brand, this is kind of confusing because the camera's hardware is made by Maximus and the software and the app developer is Kuna. Another security camera that Maximus makes is the Maximus Floodlight, which I did review a while back and I will link it in the description down below. Now, there's another company that makes the camera hardware and lights that uses the Kuna app, the Toucan, which they sell the camera kit that retrofits with your porch lights, which I also did a review a few months back, and I'll also link it in the description below. So, this new Maximus doorbell actually debuted at CES last January, and it is just now released. And one thing why I want to review this camera and actually purchased it because that it has two cameras. One as a standard 1080p full HD camera that is in the front of the doorbell. But there is also a 720p camera that points down and will monitor if there are any packages that have been delivered. So this is a unique feature. A lot of doorbell cameras like the ring records in 16 by 9 aspect, which is a wide aspect ratio. And a lot of times you will not be able to install and position the video doorbell that you will see the face of the person at the door and also check if somebody left a package down in the ground. The Nest Hello has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio which is better in showing the head to toe of your visitors but also be able to see if packages were left and they actually recently added package detection feature to their AI algorithm. I did video about it and I'll also link it down below if you want to check it out later on. With the answer dual cam, you'll be able to see the face of the person at the door and also be able to see if there are any packages that were delivered. Let's check out the specs of this video doorbell. It has a 1080p wide angle HDR or high dynamic range for the front facing camera and a 720p for the bottom one. It has two-way talk. It has a 30 foot selectable detection range, night vision, sound alarm and access to dial 911. 2-hour event lookback included, people or vehicle detection with Kuna Premium, free 24-7 live streaming, pre-recorded messages, and seasonal sounds. It can connect to either 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi. You can share the cameras and easy to install. Before we open it up, let's check some detailed specs of this camera from their website. So, this is a wired doorbell and needs to be hooked up with your existing doorbell at home. And it needs a 16 to 24 volt AC, 10 volt amp transformer. It is weatherproof with an IPX4 rating. The two LED package light at the bottom is 20 lumens and 5500 daylight color temperature. The total field of view of both top and bottom cameras is 180 degrees diagonal. Top 138 degrees and bottom 144 degrees. It has a 16 by 18 square field of view, which is two 16 by 9 videos stacked. Detection range is 20 feet, which contradicts the 30 foot one printed on the box. And it uses both PIR and motion detection algorithm. Let's open up the box. We have the doorbell, front and center. Just need to peel off the plastic from the lens. We have the 1080p camera lens, infrared LEDs, motion and light sensor in the front. We have the speaker in the middle and an oval push doorbell button below it. We have the mic. At the bottom, we have the 720p downward facing camera and it has two LED lights. On top, we have a small hex screw to secure the camera on the mount. At the back, we have the two screw terminals to connect the doorbell to our doorbell wires. We have a rubber flap covering a micro USB port and a small reset button. What else is inside the box? We have some paperwork an installation guide, we have a 15 degree wedge plate with a stick on gasket, we have the back plate that also has a gasket, we have a small box with the installation kit, we have screws, plastic anchors, and wire nuts, we have a masonry drill bit, we have connector wires and an allen wrench, then we have the chime bypass that needs to be connected to our chime box. Time for installation. First, we need to turn off power on the doorbell and the chime. You will need to install the chime bypass that came with the installation kit. Open up your chime box and screw in either of the wires on the bypass to the trans or transformer and the front connections and screw it in tight. Then remove your existing doorbell and attach the gasket to the backplate. I will not use the wedge bracket on this install. 
Let the doorbell wires pass through the back plate and screw in the back plate in place. Screw in the connector wires to either of the back terminals of the answer video doorbell. Attach the video doorbell to the back plate and lock it in place by tightening the top set screw. Make sure it is lined up on the screw hole. Turn on power to the doorbell and download, sign up, and log into the Kuna app. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner to install the video doorbell. Swipe left or right to find the answer doorbell. Click Setup Device. Click on New Device that will pop up. Name your device, which I'll name mine Front Door. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to use. Type in the password and click Connect. Set up the time zone and all other options and the camera is now connected. Yep, it works. You can control the package lights from the app. Now let's check out the settings in the app. On the main page where you will see all your cameras, you'll be able to turn on or off the package light. And you can click on the gear icon to change the settings. In the settings, you will see the camera's name, serial number, change Wi-Fi network, device health, and if you want to share your camera. There is also the time zone. Then you can turn on or off the button LED light. Push notifications if you want to get notified when the doorbell is pressed or when it detects motion or both. Then we have the package light settings where you can schedule the turning on or off times. Or use the dusk till dawn feature and you can change when the light turns on or off. Please note that there is no option for the lights to turn on when it detects motion. Then we have the Kuna AI detection which this is a paid feature. And you need to be subscribed to the Kuna Premium. You can use the video doorbell and also the other cameras that uses the Kuna app without a subscription but it has some limitations. First, you will only get a 2 hour look back to access the recorded footage on the cloud and you will only be able to download 3 footages per month. Now with the subscription which starts at $4.99 a month which covers one camera, there will be 7 days look back, unlimited downloads, theft, protection, Kuna AI, and discount on future purchases. There is the $9.99 per month plan that covers up to 4 cameras with a 14-day look-back and the most expensive plan which is $19.99 per month for up to 8 cameras with a 30-day look-back. So with the Kuna AI, you'll be able to select if you want the camera to detect people only or also detect vehicles and you can customize the motion zones or the area of interest. You can also change at the bottom on how often the camera will record, which is the sensitivity of the detection. Now, please note that if you're not subscribed to the Kuna Premium, you will not have this feature. And the only setting you can change will be the area of interest. There is no motion sensitivity setting. Then there is greetings and sound, which you can create a custom sound if you are a Kuna Premium subscriber. There is greet on detection, which you can change the greeting sound, from a regular chime to a barking dog. Time to do some testing. Hello, this is the video and audio quality of the answer video doorbell. That good? You good? Yeah, cool. So this is the video quality of the Maximus Answer video doorbell at night and with the infrared LEDs on and also with the package light LED on. So we are going to test the alert motion notification speed of the Maximus Answer video doorbell. And I'm on my LTE connection and it's 637. And also we'll see how fast the GIF preview is. And this, the motion detection here set up is with Kuna AI on. Let's check it out. Got 
at it and push and hold and there's the preview so it has been about a minute it's 639 and we will check the uh, cool off notification and see how quick it is there you go so it's about less than a minute now we are going to test the uh, video doorbell press to notification speed and also how quick the app opens up to respond to the doorbell so let's test it out there you go Can I help you? Um, yes, is Life Axer here? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? Um, tell everyone watching this video to go subscribe to his channel. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Thank you, bud. Um, yes, is Life Axter here? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? Um, tell everyone watching this video to go subscribe to his channel. Um, yes, is Life Axer here? Um, tell everyone watching this video to go subscribe to his channel. So what do you think guys? Video quality in daytime is okay, but at night, it is only recording at 5 frames per second, and the quality is not good. Also, there are no settings in the app to turn off night vision if you have porch lights like on mine and you want color recording. I'm not sure on this, but when I initially set up the camera and I haven't signed up with the Kuna Premium yet, and just used the area of interest to customize the motion detection. I was getting a lot of motion notifications, especially with cars passing by, which is way more than the advertised 30 feet of detection. But when I subscribed to Kuna Premium and I turned off vehicle detection and then turned off Kuna AI, then motion detection has been accurate. So I'm not sure if you don't sign up at all or if I cancel and it will go back to detecting cars. Also, the Kuna app is not fully integrated with Alex A or Google devices. The most you can do is turn on and off the lights. You will not be able to stream the camera's view. I like the downward facing camera because I will know what package was left. But usually with bigger packages, I will also able to partially see it with my Nest or Ring Pro video doorbells. So it is really not a game changer for me. And you will also know and see if a porch pirate steals your package even with one camera video doorbell so you really don't need to have a downward looking camera. What I like about the Kuna app and the cameras that uses them is that it starts recording 10 seconds before the motion event has been triggered, so you will not miss any important footage. And the GIF preview, which they are able to do this with little delay in notification. 
that's it and if you have any questions comment down below thanks for watching and i hope you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click that little bell icon so that you will get notified when i upload product reviews like this video comparison videos product updates and long-term reviews thank you